It's that time of the year again. For the last nine years, we have been bringing you some of the most entertaining events in America. It seems like every year something goes viral at the Courtside Films camp. Back at the 2016 camp, Jordan Poole showed up and showed out. He had the full bag on display. That same year, there was some serious gems. Tristan Jazz put his name on the map. Now the two-time Courtside alum has over 5 million subscribers on YouTube. Darius Hawkins has one of the flashiest games in America. He's now the number one ranked point guard in the 2028 class. D-Hawks highlight tape got on House of Highlights and Overtime. Speaking of going viral, Mr. Sports Center himself, Teddy Collins, handed out buckets like it was nobody's business. Who doesn't love a big guard? Teddy's video got millions of views all across social media. This ISO clip by Shakrayon Wise landed him on Bleacher Report. Someone in the comments said, that's baby Kyrie Irving right there. Alex Antetokounmpo came to a camp right after his big brother Giannis won the MVP. Last month, the Milwaukee Bucks signed Alex Antetokounmpo. Now, him and his two brothers are on the same team. Ethan Kaiser shut down the internet after his performance at the courtside camp. He garnered nicknames like Hair Jordan, Joe Vert, Harry Bird, Kid Pass Me the Rock, an unknown Gemma Gatwich pulled up to the courtside June camp and no one had ever heard of him. ESPN, House of Highlights, and Ball is Life posted this video. Who do you know throwing down dunks like this in drills? Jack McCaffrey, the number one ranked player in all of Iowa, shot lights out. Jack is the youngest son of Iowa head coach Fran McCaffrey. Max Saavedra came in from Idaho and the legend of Baby Pistol was born. He's got the hair like Pistol Pete Maravich, and the swag of his game resembles the NBA Hall of Famer as well. Speaking of NBA, Omaha Baloo at 6'9", 220 pounds, is built for the league. Expect him to have a huge season at Iowa State. At one camp, he was teamed up with fan favorite Gus Yaldin. This is when the nickname Baby Jokic was created. Gus is 6'9 with a bigger frame. That's why he gets that nickname. He don't even believe that. He said he gonna beat us by 30 and all that. He don't even believe that. Just look at him. Don't talk to Baby Bella. Like, come on, man. As y'all can see, Sincere Simmons lacks no confidence. He's been to a couple courtside camps, and every single time he goes viral. He even got the nickname Baby Lamello. Anyone that's ever came to a courtside camp knows that we put on a dunk contest. Well, this dunk contest was shut down by Jamal Harris, Mr. 52 inch vertical. And yes, I said 52. If you check out his Instagram, that's all he's talking about. It could be a world record. This dude was insane. We have the camp in Tiger Campbell's hometown, so it's only right that he comes through. He just finished his storied UCLA career. He ended up ranked number two on their career assist list. Tiger is now playing pro ball in France. Kendall Brown is a two-time courtside camp alum. This dude is a versatile forward out of Minnesota. He was the number 12 player in the 2021 class and after that, he went to Baylor, and now he's on the Indiana Pacers roster. Tyreek LaCour is a Des Moines High School legend. Reek closed out his career as the all-time leading scorer in Des Moines public school history. Now he's playing at the University of Louisiana Monroe, where of course, he leads the team in scoring. Khalil Whitney was the very first person to sign up for a courtside camp. He came to our inaugural fall camp back in 2014. He was just a freshman then, and he ended up being a five-star committed to Kentucky. Now he's playing in the NBA G League. Daquan Brown is a shifty guard out of Peoria, Illinois. Prep Hoops has him ranked number one point guard in the state. He's playing for Simeon High School now. Terrence Brown may hold the record for most courtside camps attended. 
He's an absolute legend from the Minneapolis area. Bro really grew up right before our eyes. He's now catching bodies. It's crazy to watch how much he improved. And now he's at Fairley Dickinson. Austin Sears is one of the top players in the 2028 class. And he played up quite a bit, but was still able to hold his own. He is a flat out scorer from Kentucky. I'm sure he will make another courtside camp appearance. DJ Stewart came to our camp in 2017, going into his sophomore year. By the time he was a senior, he became a five-star McDonald's All-American. On top of that, he committed to Duke and averaged 13 points per game. DJ just signed with the Boston Celtics on October 2nd. Cody Raider is playing for the same AAU team DJ Stewart did. Cody plays for the Nike Mean Streets and is one of the top players in the 2029 class. And he, like Austin Sears, played up quite a bit, but had no problems. He got the nickname Baby Steve Nash back in fourth grade. Bowen Bourne had one of the best high school careers in Iowa history. He averaged over 36 points per game, and that translated to the college level. He's now the starting point guard for Northern Iowa. Bowen's former Northern Iowa teammate, Noah Carter, came to the June camp in 2018. After averaging 15 points in Northern Iowa, transferred to Missouri. Carter averaged 10 points last year, and he's entering his last year of eligibility. Taman Lipsy was in his bag at our camp. In high school, he won a gold medal with USA and was named Iowa Gatorade Player of the Year. Nowadays, he's at Iowa State, where he just finished his first year. He had 73 steals, most ever in a freshman season for Iowa State. Donovan Williams pulled up to the camp and no one could believe he just finished his sophomore year. He ended up having a legendary high school career in Lincoln, Nebraska, averaging over 28 a game, and now he's playing at Pacific in California. So we knew about James Brown long before he committed to North Carolina. He's a top 50 player in the 2024 class and he pulled up to our camp as a freshman. This year, he's gonna be playing with Link Academy. And if you know Link Academy, you know they are one of the best programs in the entire country. It's gonna be a blast watching him play. Moral of the story is, come to the courtside camp. It's a unique experience where everyone gets a highlight tape. The next courtside camp is in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Make sure to get signed up on courtsidefilms.com before we sell out. Not to mention, we have a girls camp October 28th in Des Moines, Iowa. I will see you there. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.